And welcome to the Giga Hub Weekly Show. On tonight's episode, we're going to review The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf, Netflix original film. I am host one of three, Luis De La Torre. I am host two of three, Daikaiji Tony. And I am host three of three, Adam Krenn. <laughs> Before we start, let us get let us pay homage to our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert, where we have all the things your nerdy little heart could ever desire. Yeah. Metal as hell, <laughs> Metal you guys. As hell. Um, yeah, we have everything that you could ever want or nice. need right here in one convenient place. Why don't we show them a little bit of what we got? We got graphic novels and omnibuses, and just in time for the upcoming film, The Eternals Omnibus. Ugh. It is the complete original run of Jack Kirby's Eternals with a Jack Kirby cover, but wait. That's not all. We also have Ooh, the Kang. an Alex Ross alternative nice, cover. Nice. So if you want your complete run of the Eternals, you want to know what's going on, what it's all about, why they didn't help during Infinity War, that's not in here. But the original <laughs> Eternals run, um, this was way before the Infinity War. Do you want your questions answered? Not here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> but it will answer your questions as to who the Eternals are. Yeah. All right. What so, do you you got? Can, so you can say, like, I read the Eternals before the movie that's came right, out, yeah. and you're 22. <laughs> so uh, there's that. Um, I also have some graphic novels in honor of the live action Avatar: The Last Airbender series coming out on Netflix at some point. We have M. Night Shyamalan. yeah, oh, we no. had <laughs> M Night Shyamalan's back, baby. Um, he's not. I, no, he's I, not. I don't think. I, I mean, don't he think is just not with just Avatar. not. Yeah. Uh, we have these yeah. graphic novels. Uh, one, to get you excited for that new right. series, right. or if you absolutely hate it without even knowing what it is, <laughs> you can reminisce about how they ruined your childhood with these. <laughs> right. Um, they do have more than these two. They, I think they have, a, I saw a couple over Which there, but I just took these as an example. You got The Promise and Imbalance. Imbalance. Yes. Right. So, yeah, you can Library come. Library format. Look nice, at these. Look nice how big, big these. Books, big yeah. books, nice hardcover yeah. uh, for your beautiful library. Yes. You can take an awesome shelfie with these things. Look at that. Look shelfie. At that. A shelfie. So uh, if you're inclined to, please come down and pick these up. What do you got, Tony? Oh, okay. Well, my, a little comment about the live action after. I like the boy who's playing Aang. He has big ears, just like Aang in the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Did, did they already figure all that out? Yeah. The okay. Real like, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right, got Spider-Man Life Story Annual Number One. Right, you thought Life Story was over, but it's not. The J. Jonas Jameson story, and it's good. It's real good. It's if real he's good. not played by J.K. Simmons, I'm not picking it up. <laughs> it's a comic book, huh? Exactly. If he didn't write his own part, if he didn't write his own dialogue, I'm not picking it up. <laughs> this week, of course, was Jack Kirby's birthday. I assume well if he was still alive, but. Rest in peace, Kane. Yeah, uh, if you don't know who Jack Kirby is, he made Stanley. <laughs> That's kind of one of the memes going around. But Jack Kirby was. Probably in a lot of ways far more influential than Stan Lee. Just yeah. Stan Lee gets a lot of credit. We're gonna pour um, one out yeah, there to, you go. to Jack Kirby. There you go. Tony, you gotta clean this up. <laughs> sure. All right. Pour one out to the king. Oh, oh, oh wait. My, my, my fa uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> before before we go on to that, uh, come on down. We have all the stuff you could ever want That's right true. here, and uh, you can come get it only at Cosmic Comics. That's right. Except for um, this A head cup because it's mine. It's his. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite Jack Kirby stories is the Black Panther story. So one of my favorite comics is Black Panther. I have a Black Panther number one. You it's do. one of my prized possessions. And, that, and that's gone way up since you got it. Heck when yeah. you got it, it wasn't worth nothing. Heck yeah. I'm going to use it to buy, yeah. I don't know, a house. Right. No, right. a pinball machine. That's way better. <laughs> no, buy a bunch of Krispy Kreme donuts. Krispy <laughs> Kreme donuts. <laughs> this will be sufficient for my Doctor Who marathon. <laughs> um, my, my favorite of his stories is that he, 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 uh, he did the art. Uh, did he write? I don't remember. I don't remember. He did the art. I think he did. He did the yeah. art, and I think he wrote the, the first issue. Yeah. And they came to him, and they were like, yeah, listen, um, so Black Panther needs more white people. And, and that's Jack right. Kirby, yeah, and, that's right. And Jack Kirby was like, say no more, fam. And he added that's the right. Ku Klux Klan oh, in the right. second that issue. That was great. Yeah, that the was great. The Black Panther fought the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. So rest in peace, Jack Kirby. Yeah, that was awesome, yeah. You're the yeah. king. You are the king. There's a reason why I call him the king, yeah. Mm. All right, so tonight's episode, The Witcher, the Witcher animated movie, colon, Nightmare of the Wolf. Right. right. It's uh, a tie-in to, I'm sorry, you had something? Oh, no, no, I'll let you finish with that. Then it's now. it's a tie-in to the actual show starring Henry Cavill, mm -hmm. Cavill, or however you pronounce it. Henri name. Cavill. All right. Henri Cavill. And I think we should give our backgrounds to, our, with our experience with The Witcher franchise. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it, it does affect how we feel about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I never read any of the books, but I played the video games and watched the show. Right. I read through the first book. Yeah. That's all I have is the first book. And then I played 
I played th- uh, three, Witcher three, yeah. for an hour. Got frustrated and threw my PS4 out of a window. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow. Um, I played all the games. I just read, kidding. I'm still playing. Read it, all the books. Um, way before the movie came out. So you're the, the so out. you're the biggest Witcher person here. You're the biggest Witcher Probably, fan yeah. here. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Two has the best romance scenes. Two does. <laughs> does it? Two does. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. I saw, I just jumped right to three. <laughs> Three's got like, or three's good though. Three's yeah, really good. It's been it is fun. It is a fun game. It's just yeah. it's just difficult because I have I have what doctors call stupid fingers. There is a learning curve with the combat system. Once you get it yeah. though, it's really good. But it mm-hmm. is weird when you first yeah. pick it up. Yeah. All of them are actually. All of them are a little odd. Yeah. Until you start to get like a rhythm with it. Yeah. I got dumb dumb fingers. So yeah. Hey, Witcher one, the first video game. I didn't even know it was a series of books. I thought it was just a game way back in two thousand six or five or whatever it was. Mm, the good old but days. It would, the music was the would, best in two thousand six. As you went through the story and you did certain things, slept with women. Um, it would actually download. Yes. It would put a picture of that woman into your photos <laughs> and oh, not yeah. tell you so you'd be looking through your phone you'd be like what what is this <laughs> oh and you look like a big old pervert <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah. computer women on good, your yeah. phone yeah. like a weirdo yeah, it's pretty and good yeah romancing women in the first witcher game was like collecting pokemon cards it basically. was yeah it was it was <laughs> it was yeah all the wow. cards of the women yeah, wow. yeah. pokemon yeah. wow that's good stuff good stuff like <laughs> you know what that's amazing that's fantastic i love that yeah, yeah. It, oh. it, it 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 gave the game a name. Actually, it was one of those weird, sort of quirky things. that was like that's hilarious and and bizarre and also terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but it worked. Imagine you invite someone over to your house and they're like, oh, "What's on your PlayStation? What are all these pictures of these CG girls, dude?" Uh, never mind those. <laughs> oh God! You found them. You found them. You found them. <laughs> That one's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. She's a succubus. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, you actually do get to do yep. romance succubus, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's, like, partly a joke. <laughs> All right, now on to Witcher. All right, Nightmare Witcher, Nightmare of, Nightmare of the Wolf is some manner. It's a prequel. Tie-in it's prequel. A, it's a tie-in yeah. prequel to the, the Henry Cavill live-action show, which right. which I enjoyed. And that was okay. Um but but this one's animated. This one's right. not live action. Right. Uh, this one looks like it, it reminds me a lot of a very polished um, Castlevania, in like the sense of like the end, like the the action sequences. It, no. Well, Am I the only one I, really? I, 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 no. I, I kind of like how the animation style of Castlevania more since it resembles more anime, but. I, I'm fine with the way the movie looked because this looked like a very pol, very it, polished it, animation. Maybe yeah, that's where it, all the it, budget went. It it does look distinctly different from anime. It's it's not anime. It's right. It's Western. It, sure, yeah. Honestly, it felt very '90s to me. The very Did it? '90s animation style, but like it felt like the old X Men cartoon stuff, except a lot tighter. Mm. But Le- something about the style, really, yeah. Like, like '90s X Men. Like it reminded like, you of '90s X Men. Like something about the way the characters looked and the way they moved, and maybe the cinematography or, of mm-hmm. the animation felt very '90s, but obviously a lot tighter than a crappy TV show. Star mm. Chaser. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Here, here's what I love about animation and the fact that this is a prequel to to the show. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, the the show <laughs> the show's great and it's got a lot of great action sequences. Right. But then you look at the action sequences in Nightmare of the Wolf, yeah. and it's like superhumanly impossible. Yeah, and you're and, and you're and you're just like Henry Cavill didn't do any of this. <laughs> he is also a Witcher. Why didn't he do flips and jump off of dragons and stuff? Yeah, like cool it, it, it was very like the action sequences were great, yeah. but they didn't lend themselves to the live action. You know what I mean? No, yeah, that was one of my criticisms of this. Is just, yeah, it was which, way too fantastic. It was cool, but like, very out of place for what was already established yeah. in that series. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. So, I, I that I wouldn't say it was a problem, but <laughs> I, I I would like a big problem, but I would say it is like it, it is just it caught my mind immediately. Like Henry Cavill didn't do. All these fancy flips. <laughs> this would have been cool, but he didn't do any of this. Right, since we've touched a little bit of both, do, we, mm. do you guys want to talk about what you liked about it? <laughs> uh, sure. Before we get into yeah, what we yeah, didn't yeah. like about it. I, I liked how grim it was and how it felt like it would be in the universe of The Witcher. Like, yeah, kids get killed here. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like that that opening sequence with the kids was uh, <laughs> pretty rough. Woof. Yeah, I did not rough. expect. I expect yeah. like, where's Geralt? Where, where's that? Where's Vesemir? What's happening? Why is anyone here? What's happening? And of course, he shows up after the children are dead. So. <laughs> yeah. What else? 
I, mean, I thought the voice acting was great. Yeah, the voice Theo acting James, was... who's Hector in the Castlevania show, is the voice of Vesemir. Oh, I uh, yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, and I I thought he was I thought he played the character well for as well for as as well as the character was <laughs> written. I guess I could say. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's a, that's a problem I had with it too. But we'll get to that in a second. Action yeah. sequences were good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked the animation. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I didn't have a problem with yeah. the animation. It just didn't. I. I not. I wouldn't say it was bad. It just didn't do anything for me. Sure. Yeah. It didn't feel. It didn't. To me, it didn't feel particularly dynamic or or pushing any envelopes. It felt safe, I guess, mm. which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, not necessarily yeah. a bad thing, especially if you're a new studio. You're not gonna. I you're mean, not gonna do. You, you're not you gonna take a big risk. Yeah. yeah. If if you're a new studio with proper backing, then you're gonna play it safe. If you're a new studio that needs to get your name, then you're gonna take risks. And I would assume this is a new studio with backing because they didn't take any risks animation wise. I didn't. Right. It didn't seem like it to me anyway. I, the people I've talked to, I, I consider them like lay people yeah. in, in terms of like. Uh, uh, Witcher and all that kind of stuff, like yeah. animation in general, they liked it. I think that's, and I think that's what they're going for, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, think of, I mean, think about it. It's like, it's like when I talk to you about like the movies. Like, who are they trying to reach? You or you and yeah, us, yeah. the hardcore comic book fans, or, or like the casual, viewers yeah, or the or casual, or the people who are gonna I pay know, a butt ton of money. I know, so, I know. yeah, <laughs> they don't I mean, care about us. I mean, as someone who's not too familiar as which to to Witcher lore, yeah, um, mainly because I played the games. <laughs> I thought the story was just passable. It was just there. Um, like, there's nothing in the story that will like flat out offend me in yeah, a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is very much like a safe animated movie for sure. Yeah. Considering it's yeah. a prequel and you know, yeah. Trying to tell the story of Vesemir. Oh, I totally yeah. called that Geralt was going to be in it, like way before he was in. I was like, Geralt's going to be in here. That's and as soon as I saw so that one obvious. weird kid, I yeah. was like, That's Geralt. <laughs> That's this Geralt. Kid with no hair. No like, hair. He's like a no weird. No eyebrows. It's like dead yeah. eyes. He's just like. <laughs> There's a pl- there's a place to escape this way like that's that's that's, that's Geralt. Him, yeah, that's bet, him. Mo- bet money <laughs> that that's Geralt. That bastard's Geralt. Yeah. Yep. Uh, On God I get money. That's Geralt <laughs> right there. Didn't Geralt's mom give him like is it like the didn't his mom experiment into him to like turn him into a witcher or no? Was that no. That? He'd be I'm trying to remember now. No, that's he, Suicide Squad. You're thinking of Polka Dot Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's Polka Dot Man. <laughs> it's Polka Dot uh, Man. No, um <laughs> It's a way better hero than Geralt of Rivia. You know that. <laughs> you know that. Um, no. Um, no, he became a witcher like everybody else. Oh, the guy knows you like, gotta go through the trials, take different alchemistic potions. Well, yeah, they experiment yeah. on a lot, and then, like, the, what is it, the Trial of the Grasses, yeah, they, that's where most of the kids die. <laughs> I, I did, I did, I, I like... Because not many kids live through that. I yeah. liked that whole sequence there. I think the fact that they, for... Again, I didn't. I only play the third game. Yeah. So like, I don't know what that is. I've only ever heard of what of the process. I never actually like watched it or like right. you know like seeing it was very visceral. Yeah. And I did enjoy that, um, among other things. But that specifically, I thought that was pretty cool that they actually showed all that. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was cool. Um, but anything else good? Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to hold back. Can't really say oh boy! <laughs> As a casual, I can't really say anything else. <laughs> yeah, it is passable. Yeah, it's a passable animation. You know, if you're just down to sit down and watch something, you know, I, I'm sure. I, again, the typical lay person who doesn't know too much about Witcher, maybe they just watch the 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 Netflix show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they don't have to read the books. I think they'll enjoy it a lot more than people who have had some experience, or, a, or in your case, a lot of experience. <laughs> With the Witcher world. You know, and that's, <clears throat> you know, I'll freely say that my viewpoint on this animated film is horribly skewed because, you know, I already have this whole idea of what the Witcher is in my head. It's mm. it's hard for a movie that's trying to do something different to work. Right. Um, not to say that hasn't been done in other stories, but it I didn't work for me for this. Right. It didn't do anything for me. I, uh, yeah. Uh, the, I thought the animation was good. I thought the voice acting was good. Okay. The action sequences were cool, but that's that's a problem I had when we start getting into the negatives here. All right, so how about the negative? Oh, wait, uh, oh, what do you got, boy. Tony? Question. Oh, did, yeah. Um, did the books ever go over Vesemir's pl- past? Or no. no. Not oh, so just not all, that I all remember. This is, no. All this is made up for a show. Okay. Yeah, it was all new. I don't... Huh. The whole what and about then, what then, about the idea of like that they were making monsters so they could keep making money? 
Was no, that? No, that was BS. The, okay. Uh, you know, the truth was at least the way I'm now. Granted, it's been several, which I have a problem with that too, and I'll, and I'll say in a several second. Several years since I read the books, but um, you know, these books are fairly old. Mm. Um, you know what's older? Me, El Rick of Mel uh, What? Just saying. Oh, that's true. That just true. saying. Similar, very similar. Just saying. Hashtag justice for Michael Moorcock. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, the 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 uh, the way the world is outlined in the books is that the witchers are kind of a dying breed, anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's more it more has to do with just society. And I mean, the books. The amazing thing about the books, and I think why the books are impressive, is you have this fantasy world that is really gritty and realistic, even though magic exists. Mm. And like the world, even though it's a very medieval world, it's also in a lot of ways, it's it's decadent and declining. Like a lot of things are just breaking down and society is changing. Like, you know, the way- wow, Doesn't that sound familiar? The way, yeah. The way, well, especially since he wrote a lot of these towards the end of the, uh, he was Polish and he wrote a lot of these towards the end of the- uh, end of the soviet era (laughs) um yeah so like that's why the witchers there were so few of them is because it was just it was sort of a thing that was going away it just Mm. through the process of time and whatever there was just less and less of them and part of that was because the witcher trials to become a witcher was so tough i mean most kids died that went through it like very few of them actually lived to become witchers that's how tough the training or more so the mutations how hard the mutations were in the human body. Most kids didn't live. And uh, this movie kind of answers why there's so few witchers. But I don't remember the movie addressing this. Is There was like a lot of witcher schools. There's like a bear school, a cat school, you know, wolf school. Yeah. A cat school? Yeah. yeah, oh. yeah. And, um, I want to go to cat school. Or are those in the game? See, now I'm confused. But there was a lot of different – the universe is fairly big. And, yeah. and this, the cat school, if you're covered in monster blood, you got to clean yourself <laughs> <laughs> I'm a witcher. Uh, right. And uh, this sort of gives an answer why there's so few witchers. And I was just kind of like, oh, uh, that doesn't really track for me. <laughs> but okay, sure. They really made it seem like there's just one witcher school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, what do you What do you got? Are we going like, like we're diving into the negatives now? Yeah. We're, okay, we're cool. Uh, it was bloody, especially <laughs> especially towards the scenes you know, where the kids get killed, but... It yeah, wasn't, that was pretty rough. I'm it like, wasn't yeah. gratuitous enough when it comes to the monster violence because with human violence, uh, yeah, you show, well, the, the difference is monster violence, you could show a lot more and get away with it. Yeah, that was weird. Huh? Yeah, human yeah. violence, like you hack a person to pieces in a movie or a cartoon, then it's definitely getting R rated. Right. But like, they do that to a monster, it's PG 13. It's a monster. Yeah, yeah, it's a monster. Yeah, yeah. There's not enough. <laughs> it's uh, not like, a human. Not enough it's a uh, violence towards the monsters. Yeah. Um,. I like the animation, but sometimes the color grading was off-putting, especially with the more dreamy scenes. Yeah, in the movie. actually, yeah. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. that you say that, yeah. I okay. So here's the problem I had with this story, right? Right. I think they were. I think they were writing two different stories, and someone somewhere was like, "Let's smush them both together to make one big story," right? So like the the whole thing with like the monsters, right? Like the monsters being created by the witchers and then like this whole thing with like the political drama with the witchers and stuff. Right. Like I don't think it meshed well to make a cohesive story. It just seems like they forgot like once they found out once there was a big reveal about the monsters, right. as soon as that whole political thing with the witch came about, it they completely just swept it aside. Yeah. yeah. And like they just didn't speak of it again. Yeah. Or, or at least, it it, at least it wasn't, her, it wasn't a big deal. Trip. Yeah, so like there, I, there, I feel like there was two different movies happening here, yeah. and it just didn't mesh that well. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked a movie with one or the other, but not both. Or maybe a little bit of one for a, a sequel of some kind. I, I don't know. Yeah, but the, I'm, I'm saying it just, it seems like two different movies were at play here, or two yeah, different I, stories were at play here. Yeah, I think it was. I, I, I. The impression I got was it was part of her plot, mm-hmm. but it just never really. It didn't work out well. It didn't well. connect together. Yeah, right? it didn't mesh well. Yeah, what yeah. do you think? Just oh, oh, the the reveal that the monsters were being made artificially. Yeah, yeah, kind of came out of left field. It would, it would have been better if like there was some suggestion of it at the beginning. That well, there kind of was that somebody was controlling the lesson. Although oh, I don't know yeah. how you'd make a lesson. A lesson was well, anyway. 
people yeah. getting into Witcher. I, I, Why I, they use the Leshen for that? Like something that's supposed to be a primeval cool. forest spirit. It looked cool. Oh, though. they look way cooler yeah. in the video games. Honestly, I yeah, I liked, like way cooler. I like the it was pretty I, generic. Yeah. yeah, I like the idea. I don't think the execution was very good, right, right. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. But I did like the idea. I was like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. Yeah. And then, like I said, it just kind of died out towards the end. I mean, I, I wouldn't. Considering how the how the mages are in the book series and the games, it wouldn't it wouldn't be beyond <laughs> some sort of mage making monsters. Cause yeah, they were they were pretty they were pretty manipulative. There was a lot of that was one thing. The books there was a lot of uh, I mean the the movie tried to do that a little bit, but there there was a lot of behind the scenes stuff with the mages and how they acted and they tried to act politically and and manipulate power and things like that. Yeah. Right, but um yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. That, that's kind of, and then again, again, like we go back to the action sequences. I think they were spectacular. This is supposed a too to be fantastical. A, they're too fantastical. This yeah. is supposed to be a prequel to a very grounded series, a very grounded show. Like, think about like you think about like the 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 the. I think it was the is it the first fight where he's. Uh, He's uh he's cutting down all those guys to get to the the lady. I forgot what was happening. In I haven't watched it in a while. The, in the show, yeah, yeah. That uh, that's why oh, they named the him the Butcher of Blaviken. Fight? Yeah, yeah. So that, so that whole scene was like really. That whole scene was great. Yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. But when you think about that fight scene, as cool as it was, and then you think about any fight scene in Nightmare of the Wolf, and you're like, why didn't he just do all these fancy ass Spider Man with a sword? Yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Why didn't he do all this? It, com- it comes off as Vesmer being better than Geralt. Right. Yeah. yeah. I remember I was watching it uh, with my roommate, and uh, he was doing that thing towards the end where he was fighting like the flying creatures. And were they? They weren't. Were they dragons? I don't even remember. I don't remember. He was fighting one. And uh, he did all this stuff to it to kill it, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. great! Now he's gonna do that 12 more times right, to yeah. all the other dragons. Right. And then they also he also had like maneuvering gear, like an Attack on Titan. Is yeah, like a little yeah. chain thing? Is that that's not a thing, is it? Not in not in The Witcher. No. Okay, yeah, he had like the little yeah. key. Fo- janitors have that. Is that what janitors do? <laughs> key fob or whatever. Yeah, key yeah. fob. <laughs> they get to the they get to the puke faster to put sawdust on it. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that kind of took me out of it because I know if this was just by itself something, I would have been like, okay, this is cool. Oh, this is cool, yeah. Because it's it's a prequel to a, a grounded live action show. Yeah, it was a little too fantastical. It's too fantastical, yeah. Although one armed dwarf ruled, <laughs> one armed dwarf rocked hard, you guys. Nice. That guy was metal as hell. Nice. One armed dwarf. One arm door. One arm door. <laughs> Tony, you got anything else uh, <clears throat> negative you wanted to say before we jump into actual uh, actual stars? That's about it. Yeah. Um. So pretty lackluster <laughs> overall. I don't want to just trash the movie. I don't think it's worth trashing. Yeah. And, I think we've watched worse and things. And that's probably a we've bad thing. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually when something's worth trashing, there's something there. Yeah. Um. I. You know, for me, it was just hard to watch because it was so much of a departure from my idea of the witcher and that's not necessarily fair to it either sure i mean you know george r R. martin said the same thing about game of thrones he said if you watch the show and then read the books you're already going to have this idea of what it's supposed to be and it's going to be hard for viewers to really get into the books right it's the same kind of thing it's now going the opposite direction it's 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 not the same (laughs) it's just yeah, yeah, yeah should we get into ratings um out yeah. of four, out of four, do, is it four, four stars? stars? Do we do four? Yeah, okay, four stars. and we do half stars, right? I always forget. What do we do? Half stars? We do half stars. What about three quarter stars? Nope, no three quarter uh, stars. Uh, okay, uh, I'll give. How it about a, you, Tony? I'll give it a just three. Three, three. Wow. Actually, no, two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, half stars. Just, I mean, it's there. I could rewatch it and enjoy it, but I'm not. It's not something I'm going to be like drooling over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah especially after you know. And especially since I played the games, and right, right, the games were well, a combat scenes in the games weren't as fantastical, but the games had like a way more interesting, interesting story than oh my god, yes, than, and yeah. tragic. Holy oh, cow! Oh, yeah. yeah, one of the best, actually, one of the best storylines in the third game. It happens third of the way through the game, <laughs> and that's the bl- bloody Baron. Oh, oh I, gotta, I gotta oh get god. to that. I gotta get to that. Wow. Don't, don't spoil yeah. it for me. Wow. Oh, oh my god. It's, wow. It's horrifying. <laughs> it's like. horrifying and just amazing at the same time. And talk about a dysfunctional family. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> All right. What are you giving it? Four star out of four stars. Out of four stars. Wow. Hmm. One. One. Okay. 
It sounds. Um, I heard I, just from the sound of your voice when we started the episode. I was like, "This is gonna be a one star movie for him." <laughs> yeah, yeah I can just, already. I can hear the one just, star in his voice. For me, mm-hmm. for me, it just didn't feel like The Witcher at all. Sure, at all. It did feel um, like some sort of original animation, which, if it if that's what it was, yeah, it would yeah. have been yeah. so much better. Right. I think so. Yeah. Like I said, you know, and maybe it's not fair because I am coming to it from a very specific viewpoint of. These I these characters and ideas in my head of who these characters are, but I mean that didn't yeah. feel like Vesemir to me. Believe it that or not, did not feel like. Believe uh, it or not, at the pitch meeting they weren't like, "How do we make Adam love this no, movie? Oh, yeah, Screw yeah, sure. everyone else. <laughs> how do we make how do we Adam? Make him, yeah. How do we make this guy no. on this message board love this movie? I, I get it. I, I, get I did it. see no, the no, live action did, series, but yeah. it's just that like after playing the game, like all these the live action versions of the characters just feel alien in comparison. Like, yeah. For example, Triss. I look at Triss at the live action version, and oh, look, she was totally different. Like, yeah. I'm who like, is this? <laughs> yeah. Like that's supposed she to be didn't Triss even feel the same. She didn't even feel the same from the books. Yeah. Um. You know, some of the some some things about the show were good. The biggest fault of the show, I think, is it tried to do too much. Mm-hmm. It tried to almost, in a way, it tried to jam a lot of the first two books together, and it, it shouldn't have done that. It should have let those stories breathe a little bit. This sh- this movie, this animated film, just didn't feel like The Witcher to me at all. Yeah, yeah I mean, at like least any... the live action show at times felt like The Witcher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this didn't feel like The Witcher at all it to just, me. To right, me, it could have been any other. Fantasy it could have been any other. Yeah, movie. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna give it two stars. Two stars. It is it is uh, it is a very ho hum movie. Yeah, definitely. I like the series. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> if you if you watch it, you're not gonna be like, God, I wasted my time. But it's it's also Having a little bit of experience in that world, it, right. it, it is a. I am also a little bit skewed. Yeah, um, I think all of us are. Yeah, actually. yeah, the game, especially the third game. Yeah. Mm. Well, the, all the games really, but the third game just does such a good job mm. of creating that world. It's hard to get out of that. It yep. really is. But, but yeah, but even setting that aside, the story. Right, the the action sequences, especially coming as a prequel to a live action show where he doesn't, where he's not right. Attack Superman. on Titan. You know what I mean? He's, he's not, not Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that sort of takes me out a little bit. Right. Um, besides that, though, I thought it was I thought it was okay. Yeah. I thought it, it's it's enjoyable enough to sit and watch. I think if you are not steeped into that world, maybe you're just coming in through this series. Yeah, I, you'll enjoy it. I think All you'll right. enjoy so it. So let's do some final thoughts. I'm going to go first. Go ahead. Which I totally forgot my final thought now because I'm, I'm a senior Your citizen. final thought I'm, is you're forgetting. I'm forgetting. <laughs> um, you got any final I thoughts? I forgot. About the movie? Yeah. About the movie, the show, anything about The Witcher. Uh, I like the idea. I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, I know there's like this whole thing online between like, the Witcher and Elric, you know what right, I mean? Right. Like I, I, which is unfair. I, I so read, many years before. I read the Elric books, and I love the Elric yeah. books. And, and I, well, they're similar. They're not that similar. There's some similar. I mean, themes. there's a there's a lot yeah. of like yeah, similarities. There's a lot of suspicion there yeah. with this guy's story. I'm not gonna get into that, yeah. but I think it. Uh, I think it was enjoyable enough. Yeah. I think if you separate the the show and the movie from the game and the novels. It should be okay. Like that, I've already learned to do that. I've already separated the show from the books and whatever li- what little I've played of Witcher Three. It's such a good game. Man. So it, it is. I just yeah, I got du- I got dum dum fingers, and I'm really bad <laughs> at the combat system. Um, That's why I can't beat Dark Souls. That's what? why I can't beat Bloodborne. Oh my. Um, my final thought: Yasker from the show, you mm-hmm. know the the bard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what irritated me about that? Just my pet peeve about that. Is Yasker in Polish, I think, literally means it's not dandelion. It's another flower, like lila. I don't remember the... Yeah. And dandelion's the name of like a character, it, right? Dandelion's the name of the character in the games. Right. But Yasker is what he's called in Polish, but it literally means a type of flower, like daisy or something. I just don't remember what it is. And why they went with Yasker, it's like, what... <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny, I mean, come on, man! It's it means Danny. flower. That's no, that was, that, that no, was sort of the joke. That's I mean, too stupid. Let's yeah. just call him Yaskier. Yeah, and I love, yeah, I love the way he's portrayed. Actually, the show version isn't even too bad, but um, I enjoyed him. Actually, yeah. well, he did feel sometimes like his his humor was very modern. He did have a lot of very a modern bit. humor, but but yeah. besides that, it was okay. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, we're talking about the show now. Right. So. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Um, mm-hmm. How about you, Tony? Any final thoughts? Uh, Bring it home, Tony. Played video games just on console since I have Witcher 3 and PS4. <laughs> and, oh, God. It, it, like, it, it alludes to what happened with Cyberpunk. It's What? Huh? Oh, no, like Witcher 3 on PS4? Yeah. I I got it. Textures were all iffy. What? No times were iffy. How do you keep having these issues with yeah, games that I, I do not have issues yeah, with? Yeah, I don't have issues with the game. Yeah. Maybe your PS4 sucks, Tony. <laughs> yeah, may, uh, maybe you have a crappy PS4. Are, I never had a problem with The Witcher 3. I, have, I, I, I like, don't Literally, either. I never had a problem with it. I downloaded um, it for 10 bucks on a sale, Cyber- and it's the whole thing. And it's even the c- whole see, game. I didn't, I didn't get that either. Even Cyberpunk. Now, granted, there were some issues, but it was also a brand new game. But it was really playable, and then I know you had a lot of issues, and I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I didn't have these issues, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on, Tony? Mm-hmm. Anyway, any other final thoughts? Play it on PC? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, play on PC. Play it on PC? Yep. So, Part of the PC Master so, Race, Tony? Yeah, he's PC Master Race guy. Dang. Yeah. I mean, do you find c- do you find texture pop in a game breaker? Like, does it take you out? Okay, uh, no, yeah. that's understandable. Uh, a lot. That's okay. understandable. I can see. I that. think I'm starting to understand now. <laughs> see stuff like that. I'm just like, yeah, it's a video game. I yell <laughs> my immersion. <laughs> but like, there's also some parts. For example, the bloody bard part. Like his, like you know, the how bloody he, baron. Ba- bloody baron. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how, like he's always posing like this, and his suit is like uh, puffy inside. For one moment, like it was all ch- checkerboard looking because as if the texture didn't load properly in it. I'm like, what, ha- what happened to this? I don't even remember that. I mean, maybe... I, I mean, haven't gotten that far. I mean, maybe that's, you know, and this may this may be a generational thing, like an age thing. You know, having... You know, I played old Atari 2600 and like oh, the geez, early PC yeah. games that you literally had to load off a cassette tape. So to me, it's just like, it's it's part of like gaming, I guess. Do you, but for you, I get it. Like games now are listen, so polished. Do you One w- little thing and you're like, this is bull crap. Do you want, yeah. So I mean, I, I guess I get I'm that. I was just going to yeah. say, do you want to just yell at Tony about how good he's got it? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Kids these days. Yeah. I only had eight bits when I yeah, was your yeah. age. Well, no. What 16 I, the, bits. The, the only thing and you're I, complaining about the stuff only thing, loading. Yeah. The only thing I'm, I'm trying mm-hmm. to say is I guess, I guess I'm more forgiving because... You know, games used to be bad, and they used to have a lot more actual terrible flaws. You know what game was great? You know what game wasn't bad? What? (laughs) E.T. For the Atari. (laughs) I never played it, actually. Uh, It's Uh, wonderful. I have a copy of it, so I'm going to Oh, dear. Nice. nice. Also, Superman. You mean maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's why, you know, you're having problems with games where I'm like, I don't see it. (laughs) I don't see it. Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't don't usually have problems. I don't remember a lot of problems with Witcher 3, though, but. I, I haven't had any yet, so I don't know. Maybe I just haven't gotten there. You guys are way better gamer. I, I'm going to say you guys are probably way better gamers than I am. Way I'm not better? that great. <laughs> yeah, way better. Okay. You guys are farther than I am, and I've had the game for months now. Uh, Which three is good on oh, Xbox I've One? I've beaten though. it like three times, I think. So you're just going to rub it in? Oh, it's so good. You're just going to rub it in, huh? It's so good. Oh, my God. And the then third then time I beat it, it was then, just so much better. And then the friggin' add-ons are amazing. And the, the one add-on, well, the one's shorter, but the other add-ons, it's almost like another Witcher 3 game. That's how big it is. You're in a different land, a different country. The storyline is long. It's freaking great. Great. You go to Toussaint, Good. which is kind of like their version of sort of France, France Belgian <laughs> kind of medieval. Maybe area. I'll get there when there's a PS7. Oh, that's amazing. And you actually get to you actually get your retirement home that they hint at at the end of the original Witcher Three mm-hmm. with you and whoever you pick. <laughs> Tris. No, Tris. not Tris. Tris. What's great about that, if we're ranting, <laughs> sure, is, is Yennefer comes off kind of like a pain in the ass Uh for lack of a better term but she's actually the one that you can settle down with where Triss who's much more friendly and outgoing is actually the more ambitious character that basically drags you along for all her political intrigues ew boo right (laughs) yeah so and yeah so she's the equivalent of like we got to go to this work thing like no i don't want to go to your work thing (laughs) right right. i want to go to your company picnic it's kind of cool though because after after yennefer and Mm. retires and you're in partial retirement she's just when you go to because you inherit or you get you get basically like a vineyard so you have this chateau and Ooh. when you go by, she's like laying on a couch outside reading a book. <laughs> it's like it's kind of cool. That's what yeah. you want. You want yeah, someone right. to like <laughs> nest. Like I need someone who's gonna nest, yeah. not like get married and be like, yeah. "Yo, we got to go to this company <laughs> thing because I need to network." Yeah, that's and that's you need Tris, you need yeah. to be on your best. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta impress the king. Look sharp, Geralt. We gotta, yeah, <laughs> I gotta impress this king. Oh yeah. my god, weren't we just there yesterday? <laughs> 
All right. Any final thoughts, guys, or any last thoughts, I guess? We already kind of went on. No, that's it. Oh, all good. All good? Are we I ready to get out of here? Sure. Is there anything you you want to plug? Or is there anything you, you've oh, yeah. seen that plugs. you want to try plugs. to sell? Anything final of that plugs. nature? T Public. Uh, Oddity Collectibles. That's uh, cool your t shirt store at T Public, which is amazing. Do you like obscure t shirts? And do you like the confused faces people make when they see your t shirts? I love it. I love it. That's why I'm going to buy the Drums in the Garden t shirt. I, I was going to say, that's a great t shirt. You know what that's great from? Right? That's from uh, Shaun, of uh, Shaun of the Dead, yeah. yeah. Uh, Togo Titan Cast. It's a podcast my friend does. Nice. I recommend it. Hell yeah. Um, I got nothing to plug. I got no projects at the right. moment. Hopefully, we'll have some new T-shirts up in the coming weeks because we were inspired yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, we can Yeah, we hung out yesterday. We came up with a bunch right. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So look. I want to get some of those up. Look out yeah. for those things. Drag up some of the old lists and do some of those too. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna get out of here. Uh, be sure to like us. Uh, hit the the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification oh, like so yeah. that you know when we put out a new episode. Right. Uh, send us messages in the comments. Let us know what you thought, or tell us how much we suck or how great. Did we you are. like The Witcher? Do you think we're way off base? Let us know. I like to think that people always think we're way off base. <laughs> well, I like hopefully. to think that anyone who does tune in is like these guys suck, and I'm tuning in because I want to hear how much they suck. I just want to yell at them. Yeah, it's the equivalent of it. my friend's family who used to watch Bill O'Reilly just to yell at the TV, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, you're just. You're just paying him, it's right? The Howard Stern effect. Yeah, you're, you're just yeah, like you're sure adding to his ratings. Yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, there's that. that. Uh, anyway, we will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye. Good night.